A local non-governmental organization, Spring of Peace and Civil Affairs Division of the United Nations Mission in South Sudan, are tapping into the potential of young school children through gymnastic by attracting a pool of creative talents aiming to promote peace, love, and unity among the various ethnicity in Ye Town. The club brings together girls to display their collective skills and talents through plays meant to entertain their audience as well as release stress and help heal trauma created by the ongoing civil war. A 15-year-old girl gymnastics participant, Amira, says the game is all about promoting peace, unity and love among the young girls of South Sudan. I feel very excited because I can manage to carry a friend on my back. That means I can manage to lift difficulties of life and peace, unity is amidst us. We get to know each other. I mean people you have never known. You, di you didn't even know that they exist. But when we came to gymnastics, we came as one from various schools. We got to know each other. We are now friends. You can interact with each other when you meet on the way in various places. That's what gymnastics is all about. Aisha added that all girls and young stars of the new nation should remain resilient in facing ups and downs of life. Parents don't force your children to marriage. We girls, we have a future, we have dreams, we have hopes in this life. Sometimes people say girls are just a waste of time, they are just a waste of resources, but that's not true. We also human beings, the same rights with boys, and sometimes you may find like in my class, girls are leading. Young girls especially face numerous challenges in life which are either biological or physical in nature, says James Mugo, only civil affairs division officer. Mugo says the fact that the girls come from different tribal groups, working together, embracing love and intermingling freely among themselves is naturally translated back into their respective communities and schools in terms of peace as the end result. And the fact that they started with young girls is also quite encouraging uh, because young girls face a lot of challenges. So it really encourages them uh, to grow up and, uh, and enhance their skills, not just uh, in promoting peace and reconciliation, but also for their future. So that's why it is, uh, it, we saw it as important as onmis to work collaboratively and closely with them to see how uh, we can promote women advancement and start with them as young girls as well as uh, uh, promote our goal which we are working on as part of our mandate uh, to support peace and uh, reconciliation. The girls play, sing in unison and climbed on each other's back without complaining, indicating that the spirit of love, unity and togetherness already exists, says Aligo Morris Apollo, executive director of Spring of Peace, an umbrella organization that hosts a number of other peace clubs beside gymnastics. As they climb on each other, that shows the tolerance because you feel the pain but you are able to tolerate not until that person comes down. If that person does not have the, the, the spirit of tolerating, he should have just checked herself and then the other person falls down if you have bad heart on that person. But it's just because of their love, because of their tolerance, they also forgive each other, they reconcile. Like when somebody has stepped on you, you will be able to forgive that person and say sorry so that you continue to coexist together. On Miss Civil Affairs Division, often visit the club whenever there is patrol to the area to help encourage the young girls to continue with their education in the face of life challenges caused by the fighting, instilling hope that there is always light at the end of the tunnel. Civil Affairs Division has already provided the necessary standard operations procedures to the club to guide the conduct of the games.